Well, hello, all my Fluid Art friends. I see I got some moderators here. And I got some viewers of awesomeness here. Moderators of awesomeness and viewers of awesomeness. Putting on some gloves, so give me a second. So, um, so let me, oh, switch back to live chat. Um, so let me say hello to everybody. Hello, Shannon and Christina and Mona and Shelly, my mods of awesomeness. And hello to all my viewers of awesomeness because I've seen a lot of people. I did push the button, Linda. Um... So anyway, sorry, I'm reading the chat down here. Since I put this board up, I couldn't see my um, screen over there, so I just put it on my phone instead. And hello, Susan. Hello, Linda. And Linda. And, um, and oh, there's my other mod of awesomeness, Brian. And hello, sweet Jan. And hello, Rochelle. And let's see. Um, hello, darling Gail. And Joy E., and Rochelle, uh, I'm going through it. And Christina, I forgot to say you. I'm so sorry. So let's give it up for my moderators that are here. Woohoo! You guys are awesome. Okay. If I hello Sheena. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but I want to get going, so I don't need to be staring at the chat. So let me show you how last week's turned out. Now, this first one, the top is gorgeous. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I got to move this because it's so high. I can't bring it down low enough. Okay. It's a little darker than I wanted, but I knew it was going to do that. And that's not glare right there. That's actual the teal. And I'm loving, loving, loving my lacing and cells I got. Look at what that gold did. So remember that. Australian Flow Troll with, um, with um, go, deep go, Amsterdam Deep Gold Works. Now, I do have to fix my size, of course. Oops, wait a minute. There we go. See? But I'm very, very happy with this. Now, the other one, I don't know. I lost, okay, I lost a lot of my, um, it, they turned out very super light. Can you see the black? Barely. So, I don't know if it sank or if it just got muted out. I mean, I love what it did over here. And yes, I know I should have put more color. I've been told by a couple of people. Wink, wink. <laughs> Hail, Jeff B. It sank. Okay, thank you, Christina. And I'm so glad you're here, Christina, because you know I'm going to have a lot of questions from you. So one thing I want to do is I want to do a um, lag test. So I'm going to put my finger out. And when, it, and when you see my finger, the one finger below the camera, t somebody type the number one in there. Okay, there we go. That wasn't that bad, was it? That wasn't that bad, was it? Um, okay, anyway, let's get on to these vases. I've never done them before. It's like, everybody's probably wondering, why hasn't she? And when it comes time to do the actual pouring, I am going to switch it completely over to this. And I got it on a turntable so I can spin it. Okay, so, but first, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's level. And I got, uh, I got a cup here with some tape right where it's supposed to sit at. And 
looks looks level to me okay now from what i understand um from the videos i've watched i shouldn't do more than four colors in the cup right christina that's what i'm assuming okay let's see that's amsterdam so let me go with some Haraj Posse, some Moody Blue. Nah, Lemon Lime. Like I need it, huh? Uh, use the last little bit of this Gold Rush in here. And let me go with um, Brian's Not So Annoying Green. Does that sound like good colors? I wonder if I should do a different... Well, I don't know if they'll create mud, so I'm going to leave it this way. And just so Mona can see it, look, Mona, right, way down here, way down here in the corner, I got your little cap cup. And hello, Moose, and hello, Marla. 14 colors? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, um don't have that much gold so I'm gonna have to use it spare well see I actually got this cup of um, Amsterdam deep gold that is a cell activator but you know it's mixed with Aussie flow troll but if I want some gold I might throw some of that in a uh, hello Vic nice to see you hey Vic I had to give Brian your little warm hug today in chat. He said something to me, and I had to give him that little warm hug you always give him. <laughs> you know, the two-letter one. <laughs> I got him. Good. Christina said, fight nicely, children. Okay. Um, trying to figure out. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of gold down here. Oh, do I got a booger on there? I have six vases cleaned and taped off. I'm just going to put just a little bit of gold right there. And this is kind of fitting for St. Patty's Day. I'm going to put Brian's Not-So-Annoying Green right here. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of the lem just a little bit of the lemon lime whenever I put it in because it will take over let's see if there's anybody I missed looking nice to see everybody here tonight oh I got yeah booger take a shot <laughs> I'm not the booger queen though okay Brian's the booger king he loves to say that okay this is moody blue I am trying to use up these paints with the Emulsabon because I'm not going to be using them in Fiona flowers anymore. Now, I'm going to skip the gold this round. And put a lot of green in there. Aha! Uh -huh. I got a booger or something clogging it. Ah, uh, well, you know what you do then? You get the skewer and you poke it out. Could have been dried paint. Okay. I'm just going to have to force it out. Oh, y'all don't want to see the size of this one. Ah. Y'all don't want to see the size of this one. It was bigger than my fingertip. Okay, there we go. Now we got paint flow. Now we got paint flow. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of this in there, just a little bit. Then I'm going to put some moody blue. <laughs> yep. Yep, exactly. Um... Oh, hello, Evelyn. It was it was pretty big. Like I said, it was probably um, 
dried paint in there because you got to remember how long ago I mixed them and if I'm not mistaken um, the paint will goober up in the bottle a little bit okay let me put just a little bit of gold right here come on oh okay well bottle washing time let me let me get that over here ha ha and hi patty okay and let me I don't know how this is going to play with the other paints, but I've got this Aussie Floetrol CA mixed with some gold. I might get some wild cells. You never know. Okay. Green. Forgot how many, how big this cup is. Who knows? I was only going to fill it about two-thirds of the way full. Okay. A little bit of the lemon lime because it will take over right Christina okay now give it a nice healthy shot of moody blue on top of it okay well you can't really see it but here's my cup now let me turn it to up oh, wrong one let me turn it to this camera let me pinch it and i guess let me start pouring ah, i'm so scared you know i said i'd never done one before but i have done one four years ago before i got into doing even my channel Let me go backwards a little bit. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty coming down. Okay, go around the edge. Now, I couldn't find any tile stands, so I can't do tiles. Okay, that's just about the end of that. But, I do have cabochons if I've got anything looking good. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay, um, what I'm going to do is, is I am going to pick up a little bit of this paint and put it right where the paint hasn't dripped yet. But it looks like I got most of it. I don't really see air bubbles, but I am going to torch it. Oh, um, no I don't, Jan, but Christina told me the rule of thumb, and yes, it is a rule, um, um, Ryan, um, the rule of thumb is, um, Four to, uh, four to eight ounces. Okay. Yep, I'm going to turn it. It's still dripping. Well, I didn't put that much lemon lime in there. And it kind of, I mean, you can see it. You can see more of the gold. Okay. It is not straight, I just noticed. But, hey, you know, so, oh, shoot, what did I just do? I just touched part of it with my hand. I am going to go under it and just clean off some drips. It's still dripping, but I'm getting the majority of the paint off of there. Ooh, I do love that. I think I like this side right here the best what do y'all think okay i am gonna torch which means there it is
Okay. Um, now I saw, who was it I saw do this? Um, I can't remember the channel now. I've been watching for the last couple of days when I decided to do this. I've been watching all these other channels. And I am going to do a little bit of this to get rid of the heaviness in there. I know that's going to now make a different design. But I had seen her do this on hers. Oh, see, it's making some cute drips. Kind of breaking up the pattern in there. So, did I do good, Christina? Oh, I don't need a torch? Okay. Oh, hi, Joy B. Nice to see you. And hello, Joyce. And hello, Lori. Okay. I see some lumpies in the paint. I don't know what it is. It does, see that? I don't know if that's a, a, a mini booger or if it's, or what it is. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, well, there's one vase down. Oh, you didn't like that last part? I'm sorry, Brian. Oh, it made mud? Well, yeah, down at the bottom, though. Okay, let me uh, very, very carefully now. Very, very carefully. I didn't even want, I didn't even make it to where I have to get up. I got a tray set up. Whew. Oh, shoot. Right over here. I'm dripping paint on the floor. Okay, let me see. Now, well, this is a disposable rug. Okay. I see some pretties in there. So, I am trying to trying to get it flat. No, it doesn't look like anything on that side, but the other side is pretty. Trust me. Okay, and then now let me do... Let me do a round one. Because I don't want to make this color in the earrings. No offense, Brian, but... So let me do a round one over here where I see a bunch of gold. And I watched Christina do this with hers. Okay, stay. Okay, now I don't have anything to dump it in, so it's just going to get trashed. Okay, and I got a fresh, fresh piece of paper over here. Which I'm going to do this because that'll drag around. See, it drags already. Probably should have got some tape to get it to stick down. Okay, I'll turn it to the overhead camera in a minute. Let 
Okay, I think, I think I'm going to do this vase next. Okay, sit. Stay pretty. Let me turn it back to the overhead and see what people are saying in the chat. Well, yeah, I could, but oh, my turner, my turner is my 15-inch one. That's a homemade one. Oh, I got my window open because I knew it was going to be hot in here. Okay. Let me put my caps back on. Okay. Um, I don't know what colors to do next. Um, should I go with purples or or should I go with uh, yellows or hi Julie. Yeah, I'm not. I, I didn't want to try to balance this on a uh, on a um, uh, canvas. I was very, very afraid of it tipping over. And yes, I did see one of your older videos, Christina, where you had put the um, put the vase on a cookie cookie rack. You know, cooling rack. Okay, let me see if I got any suggestions. Oh, blues with your favorite pink. I think I got some of it made. Hang on. Because I was out of it for a while. Look what I got, Jan. I do have some. Okay. And... There's the Prussian blue that you like with it. I don't know if I've got... I have very, very little turquoise left. So I'm going to put some turquoise, but I'm also going to put some sky blue light in there. Okay, now i got gloves on, but I'm going to have to clean this again, I guess. Yep. But I knew... That every time I touch it, it's going to get dirty, so I made sure I had a clean rag and alcohol here. At least that paper would stay under. There we go. Okay, and I've got a lot of this gold, so I'm going to do those colors. Hi, Kathy, and hello, Kelly. And in case anybody's wondering, I got all of these vases at the thrift store. So, oops, it's not in the center, I just noticed. So, I can't tell you how they were made, okay? Okay, let me see. Last out, or first in will be last out, so I'm going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to do, because I'm only going to be able to do one layer of it, um, I'm going to do some of the turquoise blue. This is Amsterdam turquoise blue. And see, I barely had anything in there. <laughs> okay. Put that bottle over here. Now, I've got my window open, and it's still very, very hot in here. But those of you who are new to my channel, um... You know that, um, you know that, um, um, you might hear a siren or two because that, well, okay. I, I'm pointing the other direction. Um, that's north, so east of me is the police department and the, uh, 
in the uh, fire department. Okay, let me put some um, blue on this. And let me put some gold. And I don't need quite that full of a cup like I had last time. Okay, now let me put some of the some of the reflex rose. This is a pink, Brian. You can call this one pink. <laughs> I'll put some of the sky blue light now next to it. Now this is a smaller vase. So I probably don't need as much with it. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to be using up more napkins just wiping my eyes behind my glasses than anything else tonight. This is not going to look exactly like yours, um, your paintings that you got at home, Jan, but it's going to be pretty close to it. Okay, a uh, little bit of gold. I don't want the gold to take over. Pink. Oh, you know what that pink does with that gold? It turns into that, like, like almost neon orangey look. <laughs> Hi, Darnell. Okay. Now I'm going to put some sky blue. And then I'll put some Prussian blue. But not that much. Okay. Let me move these bottles with their caps. And I'm glad that y'all came out to watch me do this. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something. I'm so glad that it's working out okay. Okay, I, one cap, oh, there it is. I was going to say one cap didn't make it in the, in the uh, jar, in the cap holder. Okay, and let me put this up here. And let me put that right there. Okay. I didn't get oil on it. All I probably got on it was paint. So let me turn it to the side camera so you can watch it coming down. It looks str straight to me. Okay. Oops. Okay. Here we go. I got a lot of Prussian blue coming out. Ah, there's the pink. Yay. And I won't do that thing on the bottom. I know now what it does and There we go. There we go. Oh, there's that turquoise. Oh, I wish I had more of that. Okay. Pretty cup. Oh, you can't really see it because it's dark. <laughs> Let me throw these away. Okay. I got cells from the Aussie Flow Troll Gold. And I don't need to touch any of it because it's dripping nice. Now, Christina. Oh, thank you, Jeff. You are awesome. I appreciate you. You're one of my viewers of awesomeness. I love this side, don't you? Oh, 
Sorry. Ah! I didn't put it back over to the right camera. I love this side. But then you get the cells over here. Then I got some weird stuff going on with the cells. Okay. I need a smaller stick to get rid of those drips before I pick it up. I love this one. And Jan, just let it drip. It's gorgeous. Well, Jan, I heard, I, I see that. I see that. Now, I'm telling Lon, since I'm bringing in May, since I'm bringing, oh, guess what wouldn't, wouldn't hurt if I went back here. Since I'm bringing something for Linda, I'm also bringing you a gift too, and it's this. This is my gift to you, my friend. Okay. So this is for you, honey. It's still dripping, but not as bad as it was. So, yeah, the green one's already got a thing about this, about, about this wide all the way around it from where it just kept dripping. Okay. Okay. Just want to try to get rid of some of that that might drip on the floor like that just did. Okay, now, I'm also, yeah, true, but I don't, Kathy, in this small apartment, I don't have a place. Um, now, I'm going to dip um, two hearts in that um, for you for earrings, because um, I was saving two hearts just to make a pair of earrings. I just got to get it flat. Okay. This might end up being really busy, but I think I'm going to get the earring from right here. In case anybody's wondering, I learned this from watching Christina dip. I'm kind of just dragging the edge to get the excess off the edge. Okay, put that one in there. Grab this one. Flatten it out. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now let me get over here and get some of this goodiness. Now, I have no room to let this set up to become a skin. And I think, I don't know if I have a place, well, I guess I could put one of my thingies down. I have some tiles. I, oh, where are they? Okay, hang on one second. I know I've got one tile Take to one of my homemade stands. Because that stuff is so pretty, I'm going to make a tile. This is one of my homemade stands that, um, that is, <laughs> believe it or not, it's the bottom piece for a fence post. Why they put this on a fence post, I'll never know. But it tapes to the bottom of that perfect. Okay. Uh, hang on. Drip, drip, drip goes the paint. Drip, drip, drip goes the sweat. Right behind my glasses. I didn't think I was going to need a... Okay, let me just do this. And 
do this. Ah, straight up. There we go. Well, ended up being a little bit of a mess, but it's still pretty. I didn't get the design in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully dip my sides so they match. Now all of my, I only have uh, four good uh, um, stands right now of Brian's because, uh, but they're all in use. Well, I wish I could save it. Oh, this is separate the wood from the concrete. Thank you, Brian. He would know. He lives on a farm. He would know. And he, he would also know because he's a man. <laughs> okay. Let me put this up. And this garbage bag is just about full. Okay. Now... Before I bring another vase over, let me only reason I use my big spinner for this tonight is because it's the only one I have that's low enough that doesn't take up that much room. Okay. And cut off this excess. And come on, cut. I'm looking at the vases. I've got one that I was so worried about what it would do on the lip that I am going to actually try it. Okay. Um, I had showed this to Christina. I sent her a picture of it. I wasn't sure if I was going to have a problem. It looks like something inside the well. I wasn't sure. Wait a minute. Let me do this. wasn't sure if I was going to have a problem with that part. Okay. Okay. Now. Let's see if there's any. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jan. <laughs> I'm so sorry, honey. I really am. Okay. Here's two bottles that are done. Okay. Let me put the press and blue away. Let me put the reflex rose away. I'm looking to see if I have any. Nope, that's Copper Penny. I'm looking to see if I have any dark. That yep, there it is, right there. Dark chocolate. Military green. And buttercream icing. Guess where I got this color combination at? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Christina. She, she did it one night. And I absolutely loved it. Okay. I am so sorry, Jan. Um, anyway. Um, well, I had to throw it out for the simple fact as a matter of fact, let me get let me take this bag down because it is full full. Um, um, sit. Well, no, you're not gonna sit, are you? Okay, it is full. Um, I have no place to dry it at. I can't show it to you right now, but um. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes that are um, roughly 18 by 20 maybe or 16 by 20 lined with parchment, well not parchment paper, uh, freezer paper. And that is actually how I stack, I can stack them up but put paintings in them that I'm varnishing. And those people that I owe paintings to, I'm varnishing them this week, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry it take, took me so long. Uh, okay. This is dark chocolate. Oh, okay. You guys, you guys are talking about how handy women can be. That is true. Okay, and some buttercream. So those of you, if you've got these paints at home, dark chocolate shimmer, buttercream icing, and military green shimmer. And they make the most prettiest color combination. Although I have very little military green left, so I'm going to have to use it sparingly. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put a thin layer of military green in between two layers of buttercream icing, and then I'll put... George is her four-legged friend. Oh, and gold. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me just add a little bit of this gold. That's probably going to end up giving me cells. Okay, now some dark chocolate. Yeah, I just did. Thank you. Thank you, Christina and Jan. Okay. Buttercream icing. There's going to be another bottle. It's going to be empty. Yep, yeah, see? And these bottles are so cheap, I'm thinking I'm just going to throw them away. I'm not even going to... Well, I'm going to save the caps because I'm always losing caps. But I think I'm just going to throw these bottles away. Because I don't feel like soaking them. Okay. Now, a uh, little bit of buttercream. And... Little bit of gold. And this gold's going to get all wonky. I can see it now. And I'm going to put a little bit more buttercream. Because I don't want a lot of dark chocolate at the top. Okay. There we go. I'm reading the chat while I'm putting these lids on. <laughs> I hear you, Christina. And hang on a second. Sippy, sippy. And I'm hiding the label because I don't want YouTube to think this is a commercial for them. <laughs> but um, you ought to be able to kind of tell what I'm drinking. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, let me move it to the side camera. Yeah, yeah. I still have a bunch of them that are empty, too. But I'm not going to be doing this pouring medium anymore. Not for Fiona flowers. I'm, I'm going to stick to the Michael's Craft Smart glue. Okay. Here we go.
see lots and lots of brown ah there's the gold there's the butter cream there's some more where's my green it's hiding because brian's watching <laughs> just joking brian there it is i see it now I was trying to keep it little tight rings. Mm, way too much paint again, but... Oh, excuse me. This paint is old. Some of this paint was mixed four or five months ago. And it's just been sitting in the closet. Ooh, ooh, I am loving, loving, loving the effects that I got with this. Look, I, I love that. I love that. I've got big, big ribbons of brown right there. But then I got little, I guess you could call them twisty ribbons over here. I am in love with this one. Uh, I see one or two good spots. Oh, I, I agree with you, Jan. Okay. Which one is your favorite side? The big brown ribbons, the twisty green and brown ribbons, or this one with like the little wave on it. Who, which, which side do y'all like? Um, Julia, what, what I'll finish them with, and I'll record that, um, it will change a lot. Thanks, Darnell. <laughs> I don't want it to change. Um, Julia, I'm going to be finishing mine with um, the uh, with the uh, epoxy resin. Okay. And looking at these, I might be able to get them on the tumbler turner, which I've got four of them out in storage. Oops. I'm holding up four fingers and I don't have it on the right camera. Um, I got four of them out in storage and, um, well, Kathy, thank you. I didn't, um, come up with this color combination. Oh, welcome back, Moose. Thanks, Brian. You just burst my bubble. Okay, let me... See if I can find a clean spot on this stick to get off some drips. But yes, um, I have tumbler turners, but you can also do vases on a, on a cup like this. Um, so if I don't get them home, I'll do them on a cup, you know. Oh, it matches a stone egg you have. Well, okay, um, I was paying attention, but I didn't know how much they would change. Well, we'll see, we'll see, okay. This baby is going bye-bye. Very, very slowly. I didn't think about this, Christine. I just set it down and then I slid it.
Okay, let me see. Yeah, I got some pretty stuff in there. Okay, let me move my cup so I can turn this because I want to get to one of my big glass cabochons. I think these are 30 by 40. And this poor thing has been falling off the stick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Let me see. You know what? I like this up here. Wait a minute, I'm going to turn it this way. Okay. Then you wipe off your edges. Because if you don't and it stays there and it dries, you end up having to scrape it off with a knife, right? Well, thank you so much, Jan. Let's see. It is now... I've been on for 51 minutes. I'm going to do one more. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do one more vase. Let me put that right there. Um, these colors are so pretty. I'm actually going to see if I can do two round ones. And get an get some earrings out of it. Oh, let's see. Right there. I like that golden brown. Now, I wish I had the room to keep these as skins, but... Yeah, I could, Kathy, but it, it's, <laughs> you know, then I'd have all these jars around here. So, okay, that one was golden brown, so let me see if I can get a matching one over here. Okay, there we go. And wipe off my edge. Have you been, Brian, have you been having to um, um, cl uh, clean dried paint off the edge? Or do you do this with your, with your um, um, cabochon, wipe the edge like that? Now, uh, Kathy, when you, when you do things... When you do, when you have a studio that is 450 square feet, I also eat here, bathe here, sleep here, watch TV here. Um, so, you can see, I do everything here. And, the thing is, is, um, oh, come on, stick. Um, I have to sacrifice some stuff, and that if that means that I can't save the save the uh, painting for skins because I can't even leave it here to dry. Scissors, scissors. Oh, there you are. No, no. Because I haven't found the use for them really. So, because I've been getting stuck on, on one color, um, well, you know, um, di um, different, um, different, um, um, other colors for base coats. It's just a fact of life. The struggle is real when you got a small apartment. Now, I am going to do this, women, this weird little guy. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Yep, I'm going to do this little guy. 
and hmm oh here's some Ellie's Ellie's evergreen shimmer Hmm. I got three boxes down here. Two of them have got 36 bottles and one's got eh, about half that amount. What color is this? Well, I got some chestnut bronze. Okay, now. Christina, or somebody, suggest a color to go with those two. I got chestnut brown, bronze, and Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. Oh, aloha, Helen. Nice to see you. So, can anybody think of a color that would go good with those? A yellow? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I've got mellow yellow, but that's, is that too light? Would, would, um, would mellow yellow be too light, do you think? Let me see if I got chestnut bronze. Christina's Laguna. I think I got some of that mixed up too. Yep, yep, there it is right there. Nope, that's bumblebee. <laughs> That's bumblebee. That don't work. No, nope, that's Persian. Okay. There we go. What about these two yellows with the chestnut bronze and the green? Brian! Vic! Vic! Give him a nice little warm hug. Okay. Because I'm not going to say it out loud, but you can type it. Yeah, I, I forgot. That's, I have ducks, too. Okay, so you think these... Is that too much? Thank you, Vic. Is that too much yellow? Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking, or should I take this one out? Anybody put the green next to the bronze, okay. Put the green next to the bronze. Okay, and put gold right here. Well, this is the only gold I have is what's left of these, um, left of these but I don't need to put that much gold in there because this is going to be a smaller cup because it's a smaller vase so oh, crap let me get up and get one of my cups okay okay there's it just these three no gold Just, just, okay. Okay, should I put a gold in there or no? Uh, let me see what kind of a white I have mixed. I got a snow white. Okay. So maybe put in, let me see. Maybe put it in this order, yellow, green, bronze, and snow white. Oh, hello, Cecilia. I'm just doing my last one of the night. And then I will, if y'all don't, well, I can put a piece of paper behind it. I can pick up this camera and move it over there to show you everything. Well, green and gold might be your Packer colors, 
but I'm not a Packer fan. Even though I live in the great state of Wisconsin, I'm not a... Okay. Add the gold next to the bronze before the green. So, so wait a minute now. Okay. Yep, I am part of one flock. That's what we call ourselves, one, O-N-E, flock, F-L-O-C-K. I'm not a freaking cheese head. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you cheese. Yeah, see, see, Linda put it in there. Okay, is this what I should do? I'm reading. I'm reading. Is anybody want to tell me? Is this the order I should do them in the cup? Oh, yeah, last, last year did suck. That's because Lamar Jackson was out for too many games, and even our second string couldn't was out for one game. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of Ellie's Evergreen in here. Well, more than a little bit, okay. And then I'm going to put some gold... And I'm going to put some chestnut bronze. Do I have a plugged hole? Okay. See, these paints have been mixed for so long. Okay. Fiddle sticks. <laughs> Well, I probably put too much of that in there. Then some white. Oh, hi, Angie. Nice to see you. I, I guess Larry's here. Larry's here, too, so hi, Larry. Okay, and then the Laguna. And then I'm going to put... Uh, I'll do some, I'm going to put the green next to that. Okay. And then some gold. And some chestnut bronze. I probably got way too much paint on here again. A little bit of white. And a little bit of yellow and... Okay, move you guys over here. Hmm. I'm debating. I think I'm going to switch to a bigger vase because I got way too much, way too much in here. Okay, let me make sure you're level. Okay. Are you ready, viewers of awesomeness? Because here we go. Ah, there's that bronze. And there's some green. Come on, get underneath. Oh, look at that green right there. Trying to get more of it over there. Let me 
touch a little, uh, there it goes, there it goes. Well, definitely got a lot of green on there, don't I, Brian? I'm stopping. I'm stopping. <laughs> okay. Let me put you over there. While it's dripping, I'm going to put some caps back on. Okay, that looks like that was the yellow one. Shoot. Then knock that cup over. I got just about all green right there. Oh well. Oh well. Look. I am new at this. I can hear you guys. No, I'm not in the zone. Well, I'm going to get a couple of tiles out. Uh, and I don't have them on stands, but I got them taped. Okay, there it is. Okay, so. Yeah, I got a lot of green right there. Well, little hints of gold in it. This is more of a Brian vase, I think. What do you think, Brian? Hey, Deidre. Okay, let me get my little scraper sticky out so I can get rid of some drips underneath here. Going to keep dripping. Yep. Okay, so uh, I feel like I just got paint on my face. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Susan. Susan knows me. Annoyingly pretty. <laughs> Jeff, thank you. Okay. Let me get this up. very carefully okay let me wipe my hands <laughs> this is gonna be fun I gotta move all these what did I oh I gotta move all these boxes just to get to the tiles Oh, hang on one second, peeps. I am, uh, my tiles are right here. And I even have two of my little tile stands right here that I can put them on after I dip them. Move my scissors before I get that all over my scissors. Okay. Now it's not as big. Okay. 
Well, I didn't get that much green on that one. Let's see what this does over here. <sighs> Suction. Well, that's about, you know, where's the palette knife? I got an idea. Oh, night, Sheena. I'm almost done here anyway. paint uh, trying to find a spot that isn't muddy yet there we go I think that turned out pretty good yeah Oh, I got a lot of paint on here, too. Better run some of it off. There we go. There we go. And run some off of this one. Well, too late now. Uh, I can see it thick in some spots and not thick in other spots. cute set okay now let me do one thing um let me, let me get rid of this i'm going to pick up my camera oh hi joanne i'm gonna pick up my one camera and bring it this way so you can get a shot i mean you're gonna have to excuse the mess behind it okay Okay, very, very carefully. Okay, let me take it over to this screen, I think. There we go. Well, it's not exactly under the lights that great. Wait a minute, maybe if I move this. There's all three are four of my vases my one little coaster way over there I promise you all will see these Tuesday there's those coasters okay now let me oh camera stopped okay huh. that's because I pulled on it I got a touch of USB port with this camera so it's stuck. So, I want to thank you guys for coming out. Thanks for hanging with me tonight. Okay. And um, be sure, this is Tuesday. Be sure to check out um, Thursday night, tutorial night. I no idea what she's doing, but I'm sure it will be great. We'll all learn something. And then... Um, uh, let me see, Thursday, Saturday is me again. That's my giveaway night. And then, um, and then, um, 
Sunday's Brian. Brian does goofing off on, no he doesn't, he does paintings. He does paintings, he's not goofing off. And then Monday, we've got Christina. Oh, and Saturday, right before me, we've got Moose. Okay? So, we've got your whole week covered for you. Okay? Come watch us do something for the first time and make a fool of ourselves. Or go watch Christina and learn something. Or go have some laughs with Brian. So, yeah, and we, then we've got the St. Patrick's Day collab. It's not, it, they're not premieres, but they are all going to be up at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern um, on the 17th, okay? So, be sure to go check out all those. Thank you, Kathy, night all, and thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. I love the fluid arts right out of you guys. Wait a minute, let me, let me dip this so I can put it down. There we go. I'll go do it in the yellow right here. Um, so, I love the fluid arts right out of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out to spend time with me. My viewers of awesomeness, my mods of awesomeness, have a great night. See you all Thursday. Good night, everybody.